Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you guys could be here. I'm Rooster. Right now we're playing some Fallout 4 and we're helping one of our favorite detective companions. That's right, Nick Valentine. We got something going on hot and heavy right here. But make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss out on anything that's coming up. Now, this is the disappearing act. Some crazy stuff's been happening. People have been taken. Is there foul play? Well, that's our job to find out because we get to play detective. So without any further ado, let's kick it. OK, guys, here we go. We're hitting it back up. Now, we've had a lot of an amazing time with our good friend Nick Valentine, but he needs our help right now. So him and Ellie, we're going to help him out. This quest is the disappearing act. Now, we got to get Earl Steelings. He's a bartender at the dugout inn. He needs to find a way into his house. We got to find up some clues. Now, as you can see, there is an option to obtain the key for the house. All right. So if we can get the key. We don't have to be so sneaky, but by now we should all be strong enough to be able to crack a code whenever we can. So we're here at Diamond City. It's looking gorgeous. I got Nikki with me, so let's go have a little peekaboo. That's the mayor's place up there. And down this road, it's a dugout in. So there's another entrance right here. Holy shit. See? That is some it's red. We don't have, we can break in easy enough. Not a problem. If you crouch, we're hidden. But let's see if we can obtain the key. So off into the dugout we go. No one knew Earl better than these folks. Gotta ask around, see what people know. Okay. A Meyer Lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. I don't know about these guys. I forgot you were there yet. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Don't take anything from these guys. Kill that man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> All right, buddy. What's up? <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to watch. <sighs> okay. You can bar uh, barter with him, do all that, but we're here for... Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> Terrible with women, mind you. Bull in Interesting. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I am, I sir. I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about. Interesting. Anyway, you look like you need a drink. Is this your bar? So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. <laughs> I to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking. <laughs> All right. Uh, not interested right now, man. Fine. Fine. You there. Whoa. We need to have a conversation. Do I know you? Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. Okay, dude. Um, what? Are you signing me up to a different thing? Like, are you going to side quest me? I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me. But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He oh, my Lanta. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill. 
and asked to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. All right. So that is a completely different side quest. He sees me here. All right, Nikki, you figure out what you needed, buddy. Okay, let's make sure we're still on the same quest. We didn't get side swiped. All right. Now, that abbot. Oh, don't worry. We'll be hooking up there. And don't steal or take anything from in here. Gets everybody riled up. And then you come outside and have to fight all the guards. Because they cry right away. So we have the key. Much easier than breaking in. All right. I'll start in here. Why don't you check out the living room? Must be some hint where that boy ran off to. I don't know. All the stuff we could take. Being an institute snatch job somewhere between zero and none. Look. Earl Sterling, local assistant bartender. Why not have the bartender himself? Lord knows Vadim samples his own wares enough for some weird behavior. It wouldn't make anyone bad an island. The guy smoked a lot. There's some stairs to go up. And Earl had lousy people skills. Might score the Institute some points in the last person you'd ever suspect category. Hmm. Why not snap someone with charm? Someone who could get you what you want. I feel like we're gonna, there's going to be like a secret door. A drink by closing on a busy night. But where does that leave us? No known enemies. Wasn't much for the great outdoors. So I don't see anything, Nick. What do you got, bud? No, this all screams accident. Now, what was Earl into? Might have gotten him in this kind of trouble. I don't know, Nick. Talk to me. Hello. What do we look? Come here. I'm right here, buddy. What? Hey, Valentine. All you gotta do is ask. All right, never mind. Else for now. Sure, sure. Hey, come take a look at this. Look at what we got here. Surgical center. Really? He's got a full face reconstruction. That means From the mega surgery center, huh? What are you thinking, Nick? Good doctors have to say about that. All right, Nikki. I think that's where we got to head, bud. Let's go. So we found out that this guy's probably done a complete facelift. He's done a Nicolas Cage, John Travolta face off. All right. He got to the face off machine. Now, you're going to tell me what I want to know, Doctor. Doc, this better be an emergency. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Oh, this is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl Van Interesting. Paid. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. All right. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. How do I get in? To get into the cellar, Doctor. Stat. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? Well, I'll tell you right now, because I'm investigating a missing persons, or I can threaten you and throw you around with my power armor suit. I'm investigating a missing person. Let's play the good way. I think the trail leads to your basement. Missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't yeah. you? You can't honestly think. I really am. You know what? Unless you did a face off so to him. The matter to rest here. Go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. 
Dude, I have the money. Don't worry about it. All right? Dr. Sun. Spelt like the word sun, not the sun, sun. <laughs> You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. Not today, Dr. Evil. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. Wow. All right. Now, I would suggest arresting him so that everybody knows what's been going on. Because if we just pop and cap him, that's not going to be good. You've killed a man, doctor. I'm going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. And let's not do anything rash. Plus, it helps out Valentine, too, if we don't just cap the guy. I killed a man. Oh, oh God. <laughs> There's so much blood. So much blood all over me. I can fix anything. Oh, well. Uh, What's going on here? He's, he just killed himself. Yeah, but I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? <sighs> All right, let's be honest and let's explain ourselves to him. You owe me an explanation, Doctor. Your partner was cutting Earl Sterling up into little pieces. Cutting him up into why would he? Oh, wait. Facial reconstruction surgery. Yes, that. If he really did go through with it, and it went badly. Dr. Crocker was willing to go that far to protect his reputation? Now what? Nah, it's not your fault. It's on your hands. Now what? What are you going to do now, Doctor? Now? Now, I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations to give to our patients. You should get going. A medical professional should be the one to handle all this contamination. Right. All right. I'm going to take. Oh, someone should make use of it. I'm going to take the good stuff off of him. Get Earl's. Like it'll be a closed casket funeral. That's Earl's head right there, guys. Like he was literally chopping him up. This is some again. Saw movie horror flick shit down here. I'll tell you that. Don't touch that stuff. I should cap this guy, but I don't want to leave Diamond City without a doctor. To be honest. We can't blame ourselves. That man decided to die. I'm I'm not blaming myself, man. I'm really The Who? Alright. Those are the guys that own the bar. Like I said, lots of times in these in Bethesda games, you're going to find out that people just talk to you and you walk by and they're like, hey, have you ever seen this? And then it turns into a quest. So we're going to go back here. We're going to talk to Ellie. We're going to let her know what happened. Did you find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Ellie. You might want to sit down for this. Let's do a recap. Why was I looking? Well, to help the folks down at the dugout end get some closure about their friend, for one. That, plus a pile of caps when it's all said and done. Earl never went anywhere. There he is. Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Yeah. Not as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. No, he's rotting somewhere. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you two had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks well, again for 
closing. The I was window. hoping it would have been better news, but dear Lord. I can't guarantee it'll be any brighter, but we did have another case lying around if you're interested. You remember that one, Nick? The case for Marty? I do. Some loony scheme to make off with a statue of a grasshopper or something. You're welcome to page through it if you'd like. It's in the folder on the cabinet. Thanks, Nick. All right. Well, we found out that there was a doctor that wanted to play horror-style movies, and we were able to get him out. With this being done and doing this small quest in Diamond City, we have now unlocked multiple other quests that can bounce us around. More of the detective-style stuff. I do like that. That's why I love doing Nick's quests or, or any of the cases that he has because it feels more fluid to what we would actually be doing here. Now, I've already set up my alliance with my son and the Institute. That's what's going to happen. So helping out these other people, finding out quests and doing stuff like that is actually a lot of fun. Let me know down in the comments down below. Do you like the more detective style kind of quests where you're finding out a lot what's going on a lot of mystery stuff like i like that let me know what you think down below hey and don't forget like subscribe and make sure you come join us live when we go up there we're crushing out right now as of the time it is we're placing a lot of division two because it's a new season starting up on that so come and join us we'll still be kicking it here with fallout every other day so until next time guys stay safe keep on gaming and like always Unlock your rage.